Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima, the morning news read by Onale Tani. Union Minister of State for Donor and Cooperation, B.L. Verma, has said that Ministry of Donor will try to extend maximum possible support for inclusive development of the remotest place in the country like Mon District. The Union Minister said this during the inauguration of the 3rd Mon International Trade Fair and Expo 2023 as guest of honour on Saturday at local ground in Mon Town. Verma said he was highly impressed to see the rich culture of the Konyak tribe and the way the people are preserving their culture. While delivering welcome address, Deputy Commissioner of Mon District Ajit Kumar Verma informed that the 15-day event will be concluding on 8th April and will have various programs and performances from renowned artists, singers, bands and other performers. The DC said that it will provide a platform for artisans, SHGs and other participants to showcase their talents. Meanwhile, later in the day, the Union Minister virtually inaugurated the newly constructed building of Government Higher Secondary School in Tizit. During his short speech, Verma informed that Tizit has been selected as a backward block and all necessary efforts are being taken to ensure inclusive and participatory development. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed his delight at the development of the northeastern region of the country. In a reply to the tweet by Union Home Minister Amit Shah, the Prime Minister said that once the region was known for blockades and violence and now it is known for its development strides. In his tweet, Shah has lauded the centre's decision of decreasing the disturbed areas in Nagaland, Assam and Manipur under the AFSPA. The Union Home Minister said that the decision was taken on account of significant improvement in the security situation in Northeast India. In a special series, All India Radio brings you excerpts from the Prime Minister's Man Ki Baat. People, voice and direct dialogue. That's your and our Man Ki Baat. Yes, this is how our Prime Minister connects with millions of countrymen. With the program Man Ki Baat, aired on the last Sunday of every month on All India Radio. This series, which started on October 3, 2014, will complete its 100th episode in April 2023. In this 23rd edition, let's listen to those excerpts of Man Ki Baat through which the Prime Minister gave the mantra for Kashmir, the mantra of unity and compassion. Immediately after gaining independence, trouble was created to stir dispute over Kashmir. And today, that same Kashmir is changing, where once in the valley, the shots of the bullets echo. There we see malls and cinema halls opening. And this didn't happen in a day. In fact, the central government, under the leadership of the Prime Minister, made tireless efforts for it to happen. Behind all this, there has been a deep thinking and a far-reaching outlook. The Prime Minister, in the Man Ki Baat episode broadcast on 28th August 2016, explained about this. Kashmir ke सभी दलों से जित सभी दलों से जितना इंटरेक्शन हुआ हर किसी की बात में से एक बात जरूर जगत होती थी अगर उसको मैंने कम शब्दों में समेटना है तो मैं कहूंगा कि एकता और ममता ये दो बातें मूल मंत्र में रही और हम सभी का मत है सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासियों का मत गांव के प्रधान से लेकर के प्रधानमंत्री तक का मत है कि कश्मीर में अगर कोई भी जान जाती चाहे वह किसी नौजवान की हो या किसी सुरक्षा कर्मी की हो ये नुकसान हमारा ही है the special Man Ki Baat series can be heard every day in the morning and evening bulletins. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar and Commissioners Anup Chandra Pandey and Arun Goyal reached Guwahati last evening on a three-day visit to Assam ahead of the delimitation of constituencies in the state. The Election Commission has been entrusted with the delimitation exercise for redrawing the territorial boundaries of the Assembly and parliamentary constituencies of the Northeastern State. India wrapped up the Women's World Boxing Championships in New Delhi with four gold medals. Tokyo Olympic bronze medalist Lovlina Borgahain added fourth gold to India's tally by defeating Caitlin Parker of Australia with a 5-2 split decision win in the final of the middleweight 75kg category at the Indira Gandhi Sports Complex. This is Lovlina's maiden gold medal at the World Championships. She clinched the bronze at the 2018 and 2019 editions. 
earlier, Indian pugilist Nikhat Zareen defeated Vietnam's Nguyen Thi Tam in the 50kg light flyweight category to clinch third gold for India at the tournament. The 26-year-old created history by becoming world champion for the second successive time. She has become only the second Indian woman boxer after Mary Combe to beg more than one world title. With that, we come to the end of morning news. Have a nice day.